Scene one, take three. Hello, my name is Tony Hawk. I am a professional skateboarder, and this is the Gigantic Skate Park Tour 2001, global style. <laughs> I'm Bam Margera. I'm on this tour to ride a skateboard and to do jackass. I think I found some shrimp marinara. My name is Mike V. I'm a skateboarder. And I'm here on the Tony Hawk tour to spread the gospel. Hello, I'm Matt Hoffman. I'm uh, here on the Hawk Tour. I'm one of the BMX bandits. Ride to live, live to ride. My name is Jason Ellis, AKA Ellis May. I'm a professional skateboarder, slash some kind of riddled wannabe Russell Crowe, slash Whitey Ford, slash turkey sideshow Bob Wanker. <laughs> That was a sweet one. <laughs> Hello, my name is Alex Chalmers. I'm an amateur skateboarder from North Vancouver. And I'm here on the Tony Hawk tour. Skate as many parks as we can, do some demos, have a good time. Hi, I'm Donnie Barley, professional skateboarder. I got an opportunity to come along, so here I am. Hi, I'm Lincoln Ueda, and I'm a bird skater, and I uh, just uh, wanted to skate with Tony just to make sure um, he's not alone on top of the bird ramp. Hey, this is Brian Sumner. I'm a professional skateboarder. Came on the store just to have fun, skate skate parks, and enjoy the summer. Hi, I'm Steve Barra. I'm a professional skateboarder. I'm here to just be here. I'm just lucky I'm here, actually. My name is Barry Zeritsky. I'm a certified licensed athletic trainer with the National Athletic Trainers Association. My purpose on this journey is the safety of the bikers, the skaters, the crew, and whoever else we reach on this journey. Hey, this is Robert Earl, formerly known as the fashionista, the artist, stylist, voyeur, renaissance man. I'm traveling the world with some of the greatest skateboarders sharing my dogs, and I'm here, again, just to be. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Tony Hawk, je suis un skateboard professionnel. Ici est le Gigantic Skateboard Tour 2001. Allons-y! Europe was kind of an experiment, and now we're back in the US where we speak the language. This is where it's already tested, tried, and true. So we're going to the US and we're going straight to Texas where everything's big. I think a good thing about this tour is that we have such a variety of skaters. You can pretty much get every obstacle in the course attacked and you know most amazing tricks anyone could probably do on them done in, the, in that hour or two that kids watch. It's cool to have such a mesh of like different guys together. Because it's Tony Hawk, that's the reason why you're able to get everybody. He accepts his role as a, as a real ambassador for skateboarding, and that he does it with style and with grace. You have, you have to respect what he's done, and you have to respect what he continues to do.
Mike is devoted to skateboarding. He shows up and he skates his heart out. No matter what is in front of him, no matter what people expect from him, he just goes for it. He wants to show people skating and he wants to spread the positive word. Uh, that's really why I wanted him on the trip. I feel it's as vital as ever to get on the front lines and go to war and try and put the good stuff out there and try and uh, inspire people and empower people with skateboarding. I live by that idea. That's why I'm a professional skateboarder. This might sound stupid, and I'm stupid enough to believe that somehow through skateboarding you can make a difference in the world. As you probably noticed, uh, I was a little bit haggard in the last few legs of the European Tour. Um, I put on a few LBs and uh, I let the road get to me. You know, no one really noticed, but then all of a sudden, the last that we had our final meal, um, Tony remembers this bet we had. Rob made a wager that he had to weigh 210 by the time the tour started, and this wager was made at the Winter X Games. And then at the end of the European leg, we said, hey, wait a second, didn't you have this bet going from Winter X Games? He's like, what, what? And Dave Sioni pulls out a piece of paper that he signed. So he was locked in. All of a sudden, boom, everyone is, let's attack Rob. Let's make the fat guy feel bad, you know? He's had, what, nearly five, six months to prepare and to lose the weight. And he hasn't done any of it. And so we said, okay, the bet is, if you don't weigh 210 by the time we start our first demo in Texas, you gotta drive behind the bus in your own car. They called me out, they said 210 before you go next door. I was weighed 236 that night. Rob has two weeks to lose 20 odd pounds. <laughs> There's no way. What's that? I'm gonna make it. Why not? No, I'm going to make it. <laughs> I got 17 days to lose this, or I'm following behind our beautiful 45 foot rock and roll tour bus in a Hyundai. <laughs> okay, a Hyundai. After the gym. Oh. Oh, it's a fire. Oh, yeah. Hey. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I got the solar suit. Real quick, I'm getting the solar suit. Get everyone out. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, he has slimmed down a little bit. What? What was it? Two ten? That's looking like about two oh, fifteen the mic, there, buddy. The mic, the mic. Oh yeah, right. Oh. No. Oh. no I, don't, I don't think so, buddy. Oh. Wait, you want you want to try to take Dude, the socks and the boxers off too? Oh yeah. Oh. Breathe out real deep. Oh, that's rough, dude. 214. Let me, uh, let me go get your bag real quick, okay? I thought I had it, but apparently I didn't. I don't know, dude. I'm really sorry about that, Rob, but uh, we got something special for you. This is a treat for you. You like that? We got a detail for you. <laughs> this was like, you said you're going to do it. You lost the bet. This is our deal. You're in the car. I mean, it was great, it was fun because it was on the show, but then it was like, I didn't really make it. Good luck, Phoenix, you know, we'll weigh you again. Yeah. I'm gonna get to this weight no matter what it takes. You broke down on the road. Maybe a bit. Well, I knew the street demo would be crazy though from before it even started when I, when I sat in the bus and I looked down the bus I was like, okay, might be the belly, Sumner. We're swarmed by street guys. This is me and Tony, the only bird jocks in the house. I was like, need some help. Well, I, I like the fact that we have so many street skaters because there's never a lull in the action. see you waiting for the bus. 
I'm stranded on the highway in the dust. We had just arrived at Eisenberg Skate Park, Plano, Texas. And the crowd looks like more than it's gonna fit in the park for sure. You feel hurt, but physically you're unharmed. You're just mad and you're confused. You got the super suck to drive by blues. Alright now! Light and blue, there's nothing more a man could do. Don't get your bollocks and twist. Settle down, don't take a fit. You drank with demons straight from hell. They almost nearly won as well. You wiped the floor with victory. The puked until you fell asleep. <laughs> There's always someone that shines in a demo anyway, and you know, Brian is, is always consistent, but especially in Texas. When I skate, it's always like I'm skating by myself. Even if I'm with someone, it's like my tricks, it's my body doing the movements, so I end up just doing the tricks I want to do. We had too many people skating the street course at Eisenberg's. There's a lot of blind spots, so sometimes some of us would be coming at the same area and you know, we wouldn't see each other until the last second. And it happened to John and I, and I, I went to jump on the board, but I actually ended up shooting it out faster. And it went straight for his legs and hit his prosthetic shin, and that was so amazing. Oh, I'm so glad he has a fake leg. John Comer is this crazy guy from Texas that defies all the odds. If you asked any person, do you think a guy with one leg could skateboard? They would say, eh, no, that doesn't make any sense. He's a real person. He's, a, he's not like a lot of us pros get a little airy fairy after a while. Like everything just can't, went to my head. I just think I rule. I've got problems. But Comb is like a realist. He's a real guy. He's a guy that is living proof that skateboarding has no boundaries. <laughs> A little bit of an expression session, I guess they called it. It was a pretty cool ramp with the bump in the bottom and, and the little pyramid on it. Bam, had some insane tricks. Mind blowing. I don't know how he does that stuff. Valeli absolutely went off. There's no one gnarlier than Mike V, period. Mike is devoted to skateboarding. He shows up and he skates his heart out. You know, when you see him live and how many tricks he makes, it, and, you know, it's just like, damn, this guy ripped. He gets amped by the crowd, basically, and he 